Saigon here. Uh, take two. I'm going to do a 4K version of the video that I uploaded before, so you should be able to see some more things. So we're talking about TSM Alpha 4.11 or 4.11 and how to add items to groups. And here we go. So base group, same same deal. And instead of the toggle that said ignore item variations on or off, you instead get this menu. And what this works out to is specific item would be the same thing as TSM 4.10 and leaving the toggle off. So specific item means it is exactly that item. It is by item level, secondary stats, tertiary stats, sockets, you, you name it. If there is something that makes that item unique, specific item is what it you want to use. And that was having the toggle off before. But you'll see two new items. I'm going to come back to that one. But base item would be the same thing in 4.10 as having the toggle on and what that means is regardless of the secondary stats tertiary stats sockets item level you name it if you enable base item or in 4.10 that would be toggling ignore item variations on it will treat all versions of that item as exactly the same and specifically the base item so the lowest common denominator of that item but you'll see this third option now item level and this one's fun so you can add any item including battle pets BOEs etc etc that have item levels to them ignoring all other secondary tertiary sockets it's just by item level so what that means is let's say you had mithril bracers of the fever flame and they were item level 12 and you had mithril bracers of the quick blade item level 14 and so obviously crit haste mastery those would all be different there may or may not be sockets on it so if you were going to add by item level it ignores the quick flame and the or the fever flame and the quick blade it ignores the crit the haste mastery and all the secondary stats like speed and uh, the other ones I whatever and it also ignores any sockets so in those in that case you have an item level 12 and an item level 14 you would add them to your groups as mythal bracers item level 12 and mythal bracers item level 14. boom bam now if you want to pull in items from wowhead you can just search a base item so uh, how about the one that's popping up gleaming claymore so a specific item if i mouse over this one uh, da, 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 um, it shows that uh well this one's kind of a bad example but because uh, there's no real differences but um, you know the, the uh, cuffs item level 39 39 but there are different Christ crit haste Christ haste um, 
let's see. Yeah, one six, the other one six. Okay, so there's something about those bad examples, but that would do the the thing. So if I go to base item, you'll notice the list got a lot shorter. So the gleaming cl uh, um, moth cup and go back. So the gleaming claymore, but I've added them to groups. So if you're searching base group and nothing shows up, it means that they've been added to groups. So if I wanted to add these to the existing group, it would specifically be these versions of the, I, but I don't want to do that uh, when I'm building my groups. So I'm going to do by item level and they disappeared because all versions that my TSM has seen uh, have already been added. But let's say I want to uh, add some more things. So I've got this group in progress leather as you can see there is nothing in this group already and i'm building a mist of pandaria boe's leather and i've built this the slots and of course the parent group is empty and so all of these are empty now what i could do is uh let's see let's show you so if i do this and uh, will that work? Will it show you? Yes, it will show you. So I have filtered on Wowhead leather, uh, not bound for mm, pickup, Mist of Pandaria. Uh, they're not crafted. They're not sold by vendors. So these are all drops and found items and rare. And these are all the, the leather pieces. But these are the base items. Uh, and you can go and select by uh, slot type. Now, I haven't done that here because there are only 18 results. If Wowhead, and it so often does, present uh, lists and lists and lists and where you have to go page by page by page, which is more than 50 results per page, then yes, I probably would filter down by the slots. But with only 18, I don't need to do that. So I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to go to tradeskillmaster.com under auctions. You see the menu here, auctions, groups. I'm going to create a group. Now, I'm not going to save this group for everybody else. This is just for my own. I could save it but there's not much point because it's only the base item levels uh, and, or the base items and that really doesn't do anybody any good. So I'm going to paste and then down here there are all of the item IDs ec uh, extracted from Wowhead. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back to here so I can see the list. Now, this is usually unsorted, but I'm going to sort this column so it matches up with what I see in the game. And let's go back to the game. So here's the game, and you saw the, the list, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go here. I'm going to import this group of item IDs. I'm going to import, and I have to scroll down. Never mind that. Let's, here it is, imported group. So we've got a list, but Wowhead said there was 18. 
Let's verify that. Let's select all the items. Ooh, look, only 17. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this group and I'm going to re-import it. It's still in my uh, computer's memory on the, uh, and there we go, 18, fixed. I'm going to drag this into leather, the parent group, rather than all of the others, because of course it's all of the slots. And there it is. So I'm going to select all 18. And then down here you see remove 18 items. Well, I don't want to do that. I've just imported them. So I'm going to hold the shift key. And you'll see it goes from remove to move. And if I house mouse over, it says hold shift to move the items to the parent group instead of removing the items. Well, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to move all these 18 up to leather. So hold shift, boom, that's gone. I can delete this and under leather, here they all are. Now, this didn't actually really add them by item level because like I said, from Wowhead, they are just the base item IDs. Now, technically, from here, I could start searching base group for the items, but I like to do an extra step because what you find in base items is what your specific TSM has seen. It's not what everybody's TSM has seen, it's just what your TSM has seen. And there might be items in my TSM that are missing. And they uh, might be in the auction house. So let's go here. Let's open up the auction house. I'm going to hit browse here. And it, it doesn't really matter which one I select because I have to search just the... Mm, the leather group, the parent group, because that's where all the item IDs are. So I'm going to make sure, I'm going to deselect everything to make sure I am only searching for this group, and I'm gonna run a shopping scan. When this is done, which should come up fairly quickly, then base group is refreshed with any versions that are found on the auction house currently. So I'm going to go back to groups. I'm going to leather. Now I said that these are just the the base item and I don't want those. So I'm going to select all these and unbelievably I'm actually going to remove them this time. So they're gone. I'm going to go to base group. I'm going to make sure that my menu actually does say that I'm going to add by item level because that's how I'm building my groups. I'm going to click select group. And now this is way too long. All this stuff is done. You can see my existing groups, you know, so far, and it's just pretty nuts. So I'm going to collapse everything, open this up, jump right down to mop, rare, armor, leather. Now I'm going to do the chest pieces. So I'm going to select chest and I'm not going to pop open um, Wowhead again because uh, you've already seen it and it probably that filter probably isn't very useful to you. It's because that's how I like to set up my groups. But since I popped it up. Let's uh, look for the first one. So chess card of the Solicitous Pandaren. Yes, that is the first one. So there are two versions here uh, by item. So 
an item level 39 and an item level 40. I'm going to hold down the right button on my mouse. I'm going to select both. I'm going to um, add to group. And now I'm going to look for the next one. Mist hide chess card. There are, is only one. I'm going to add that to the group. And the next slot is actually feet. And unfortunately, TSM will pop open everything again, so I have to collapse. I'm going to go to mop, rare, armor, open that up, leather, feet. And I'm going to select that. So that's mist hide boots. There is only one of those. Now, me saying there are is only or there is only one of those. That's that means that my TSM has only found one of those. That does not necessarily mean that there expressly is only one of those. Which means as you use TSM, the auction house, you go questing, you go grinding roll some alts, whatever you're going to do, you might find more versions of items that you thought you had added to groups already, in which case it's always a good idea to periodically go back and, well, you don't have to do the whole shebang all over again, just check the, the items in your bags as you find them and make sure that they're actually in a group um, the way you want them to be. So that's happened already where my high level guy, my level 60 guy, I took him out to Wrath of the Lich King content and I smashed out a couple of dungeons and lo and behold, I actually got some uncommon versions that when I selected by item level, it turns out that those specific item level uh, versions of the gear were not in groups. And even though the tooltip said they were, like I said, that specific item was not. So always go back and double check. So Mistide, I'm going to do one more to show you guys. Tess he has ticking treads verify on wowhead yep and there you go that's how you add uh, items to groups with 4.11 there are a lot more tricks to 4.11 but i just thought i would show this one off and uh, do it in, in higher quality because the first video lost three quarters of the screen and I apologize for that so this is the redo anyway make all of the gold enjoy yourselves get out there and have fun when you're playing World of Warcraft other than that um, that's it that's all I'll drop my patreon link uh, in the pinned comment uh, for this video. I'll probably remove the original video because it, you know, doesn't look that good. Um, in the Patreon, for as much as you want to give per month, minimum $1, you have full access to my existing 4.10 version of TSM all my groups and operations. What you're seeing right now with 4.11, that's not publicly available yet because 4.11 is not publicly available. And if I gave these out and you imported them into the release version of 4.10, it would mess everything up. So that that's not a thing, but it will be a thing and you can get fancy later on but in the meantime if you want my setup then it'll be there in the patreon anyway have fun